Hello everyone, I am Dr. Yadukul, uh, Department of Forensic Medicine, AIMS, BB Nagar, Hyderabad. As part of the Janandalan program initiated by the Government of India, we from the Department of Forensic Medicine will going to demonstrate regarding the proper disposal of COVID-19 dead bodies. All the health workers attending the dead body should perform hand hygiene and everyone should wear full PPE kit before disposing the body from the hospital. 1% sodium hypochlorite solution should be sprayed onto the body and during the process the health worker should perform hand hygiene. All the tubes, drains and catheters on the dead body should be removed. Any puncture holes or wounds should be disinfected with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution. Oral and nasal orifices should be plugged to prevent any leakage of body fluids. Now both the hands and feet are tied before placing the body in the body bag which is not less than 150 microns thick. The body should be in supine position. Now we will demonstrate how to put the body into the body bag. This is a standard body bag which measures not less than 150 microns and comes with a transparent sheet to view the face and a place to keep the body tight. Once the body is kept in the body bag, it should be zipped and a tag mentioning COVID positive should be kept in the body bag. 1% sodium hypochlorite solution should be sprayed along the back and proper high ha hand hygiene should be maintained. After the procedure, the consumable should be disposed in the proper color-coded biomedical waste management buckets. During transportation, a closed vehicle should be used to transport the COVID-19 positive body. The said vehicle should be sprayed with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution inside and out. The body can be accompanied by 6 people who will wear full PPE kit. However, the relatives are not allowed inside the vehicle. All the persons accompanying the body should wear PPE kit including the driver then the vehicle will leave to the cremation or burial ground. In the burial ground, only five family members are allowed. For burial, the trench should be at least eight feet deep. And if there are more than two bodies, a minimum of three feet distance should be maintained. Now we'll see the do's and don'ts in the burial ground. Reading from religious scripts, Spraying holy water are allowed during the burial. Since the ash do not pose any risk, the collected ash can be given to the family members. Kissing, hugging or touching the body and body bathing is strictly prohibited. After the funeral, all the family members should remove the PPE kit and dispose of in the proper color-coded buckets. Thank you, one and all.